Hello, Jim Hodges here, the voice behind this unabridged recording of George Alfred Henty's By Right of Conquest with Cortez in Mexico, which takes place in Central America from 1518 to 1521. This is my personal favorite Henty novel so far. In this fantastic story, Roger Hawkshaw journeys to the Spanish-controlled Caribbean with his father, who is an English sea captain. The ship wrecks on the shore, and Roger is the sole survivor. Stranded in a strange land, but in God's providence, Roger is befriended by the natives and eventually meets the courageous explorer Hernando Cortez. In the meantime, he's learning the language of the natives, learning about their culture, their clothing, their agricultural methods, their politics, their religion, all about the Aztec culture, and the culture of the conquered tribes as well. When Cortez shows up in chapter 11, hang on to your hat. This man must have been an incredibly inspirational and charismatic leader. With only 500 Spaniards, Cortez conquers the Aztec Empire, whose population is estimated to have been 500,000. So the odds were 1,000 to 1 against him. Of course, Cortez had cannon and guns and armor and horses. The natives had these little bows and arrows that were designed to injure only so that their foes could be taken and sacrificed to their gods. Cortez is able to build alliances with many peoples conquered by the Aztecs who were only too happy to help him overthrow their masters. Henty takes time to discuss the similarities between Christianity and the native religion at one part in this book. They had confession, just as we do, but they could only do it once in a lifetime, so you better not sin afterwards. They had sacrifice, just like the Israelites did, but they were sacrificing animals. The Aztecs were sacrificing people. Well, in the end, Cortez captures Montezuma and asks him to appease the locals who have risen up against Cortez and his men. Montezuma attempts to do so, but is shot at and injured by his own people, who believed him to be a traitor. It is a fantastic story, one you are sure to enjoy. I've got an unabridged recording of the book. It's 13 hours and 15 minutes long. There's a study guide and a vocabulary list for this title right on this page. Mm -hmm.